From the likes of Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer to more modern names like Adam Lanza and the Long Island serial killer, we've all, all been told the stories of the inhuman atrocities that they've committed. The thing is, fundamentally, they're the same as us. At what point exactly did a potential engineer or physician, a teacher or a lawyer, veer from that path and become something criminal? They were once children too. Do those children that they once were not deserve mercy? Or at least for somebody to hear them, to hear their stories without a bias? If the answer to this question is yes, then why do we judge them based on their bloody climaxes? Why do we never take into consideration the series of events that led them to becoming who they became? Could I one day share a similar fate? Could you? I've asked myself these questions over and over. I've read the books, I've attended psychology classes, and yet I feel like I've not gotten a single answer. It's this singular quest of knowledge that led me to, to apply to the University of Missouri in Columbia, and now to this opportunity therapy. It's what I want to devote my life to. And while ultimately I want to be a psychiatrist, my journey begins <clears throat> By studying occupational therapy. My reasoning is this. Every so often there is a link between physical trauma and later mental disorders. Picture a boy who is being raised by unstable and abusive parents. He has never been shown the most basic of affections and simultaneously he is being told by the world to never cry, to be a man, to suck it up. He is just a boy but he is fighting a war on both fronts of his life. Then one day he's had enough. He's tired, but he doesn't know what a healthy release is, so he lets his rage take control of him. He lets his pain come to the surface. He blacks out. When he comes to, his dead parents are before him. And just like that, his life is changed forever. But imagine this too. What if that child could meet a person who truly wanted to help him? And that is the kind of person that I want to be. I want to be able to step into a person's life and help them truly make a change so that they can have the life that they dream of having. I don't want to live such an unremarkable life that when I die, my story simply fades to black. I want to help people who have experienced trauma and I want to prevent people from ever experiencing that kind of trauma with whatever research I may discover in my life. When I was put in the position to help a person, I helped them. And if I wasn't in a position, then I put myself in that position and I made the best of my resources. And that is exactly what I'm trying to do now with this application to the Stephen Feinberg Scholars Program. I'm striving to be like Maya Angelou, my role model, who once said, if you don't like something, then change it. And when I see myself a decade in time, I hope to find a strong and empowered black woman who has changed the world around her. Thank you for listening.